Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Money Weights. I'm your friend, Amnur Shaktivel. And in this video, we are going to see how uh, we can move. Like, you know, I recently started to explore JUnit 5. And, and to be frank, uh, I really love uh, using JUnit 5. Uh, the good thing about JUnit 5 is it's a, it has a lot of cool annotations where we can leverage them. And, uh, you know, it can help us to write even better code than, than test engine. So um, I also want to give a little try on using JUnit 5 in this particular framework. So I'll be migrating some of the existing code. Like we have data data provider, we have test class with, with our framework. I'll be migrating to enum source and JUnit 5. It will be very, very easy. Um, so don't worry about anything. Uh, even you can also stick to the uh, test engine and data provider, but it's just my, uh, you know, try. Uh, or, you know, we are we are using uh, JUnit 5 in our test automation framework in my office project. So I also want to make sure that, uh, you know, what are some of the benefits that we are reaping out of JUnit 5. Again, I want to thank Pramod, uh, you know, uh, who, who, who just uh, made me to start using this JUnit 5, right? So uh, good. So now without wasting much time, uh, let me get into the IntelJ, right? Uh, so if you notice very one thing very closely, um, we have add users test uh, that has very simple data supplier or data provider, and then it has a very readable test, and we have everything stored in this uh, enum, right? But if you notice one thing, um, we are doing a little bit of work ourselves, right? And then let's say I, I want to do something, I want to filter out only few values, I want to exclude some values. Yes, I can uh, create a stream, uh, and then I can basically, I can create a stream, um, well, sorry, the, the, it is already a stream. So what I can do is I can filter based on certain conditions or I can limit based on certain stuff, right? I can also do that, but it's not as good as what we can get in JUnit 5, right? So without wasting much time, let's start uh, putting JUnit 5 here. So to do that, uh, what I can do is I can open the pom.xml to save some time, I have already added the JUnit uh, uh, dependency here, and I'm using 5.8.2. Again, guys, JUnit 5 has a lot of advanced features. Again, if you're using JUnit 4, please start using JUnit 5, right? And uh, let's go to the test back. Uh, so instead of using the a test that is coming from the test ng, uh, I'm going to use at the rate parameterized test. So if we can also use at the rate test, which means um, from the JUnit, but which means we are not using any external data source uh, to feed it to the test method. But in our case, we are not. We are basically feeding from an external stuff. So we are. We have to use parameterized test. Again, if you want to pass um, a null as a source, for example, if I use null source, this particular thing will be null, and then we can use null. Let's say I want to test with uh, empty source. You can also do that. And null and empty source. There are a lot of other options. But here we are very, very much interested in using an enum. For example, the add scenario type that we have here is a simple enum, right? And we are we are basically leveraging that. So I want to make use of that, right? So, so what I can just say is enum source, that's it. And once I say enum source, I can say, um, what is the class name? What is the enum name, right? And the enum name is add scenario, uh, add user scenario type dot class. That's it, guys. So now uh, you don't need to write this piece of code. Again, we need to write this piece of code because this is for loading the fixture factory, but we don't need this method, right? Now our code looks much easy, right? It's just an annotation that takes care of everything and the code becomes much readable now. And where should I put that? Uh, maybe uh, I have a before method, which can do the task for us, but here in, in, in JUnit, we have something called as before each, uh, where I can put this particular piece of code, right? Our, like I don't want to load the templates every time. So what I can do is also, I can use something like before suite. Uh, we call it as before all in here. Uh, so I can just say public um, static uh, wide uh, before suite, right? Something like this, or we can say before all. And I can basically paste it here, right? And uh, yeah, and here we have after method. Instead of that, we can use after each from the, uh, J unit, right? So I can remove all the unused imports. Now it looks good. And let's go to the add users test. The add users test looks very, very neat now. Uh, so let's try to run it and see if it is working. So it's very, very easy, right? So 
uh, you have everything handled in the in just the annotation itself right so now the tests are running like how we want so everything is in place everything is working fine but just that we removed a lot of uh, boilerplate codes right so we removed some verbosity and now the code looks much much neater now and also we get a lot of uh, advantages using junit5 where you can ignore few things or include few things you know from the enum set we can can do all these things right maybe once the test completes i will also walk you through about that yes so the test is getting run uh, so basically yeah so both the test got passed but if you notice we are running it for two times so valid uh, and then just employee name but i don't want to run for two of them just there is there might be some prom problem with the second one so i just want to run only for valid so what i can do is i can just add something called as so maybe i'll give some indication name right and i can give the name so i want to exclude something i can also include something in this case maybe i'll go with exclude so i'll just mention um, i'll mention valid so i i don't want to do this and the mode is basically uh mode equal to mode dot exclude right and why is it throwing error maybe a names okay so now this is very good right so so i want to exclude the valid and uh, i want to exclude this valid that's it so now it will only run for just employee name suppose i want to exclude this i can use this again there is also a way where you can include few things that is also you can do so in this case i'll include the valid right so it will run just one time and not the two times so yeah the test is running so it should basically work so this is a, this is a very quick video on how we can optimize this with enum source i'll cover uh, many more interesting stuff in the coming videos see you guys tada bye bye